Hello everyone. Welcome to Service Now Gyan. In this session, we will talk about COE security configuration and we'll also see in which scenarios we can use this functionality. So, let's first understand the concept of COE security configuration in HRST. COE security configuration is used to define group restrictions for a COE and for all or a specific HR services under it. Let me explain the definition in simpler way what does it mean. In the past, we have seen any user who had the case reader and case writer roles within HR were able to see any cases within COEs. But now with the help of COE security configuration, you can restrict the access to the cases. Just to be noted here, we are not giving permission with this module. We are restricting permissions that people already have. Let's say if you want to make cases within HR benefit COE visible to only particular group members. For example, HR tier 2 group. You can create a COE security configuration for that COE and assign this to that group. The cases will be visible to only that particular group members. You don't have to create ACL for that. So we can say it's a very easy way to restrict data visibility. Also, you can apply this to particular HR service of COE. What does it mean? It means that if you want to restrict cases belongs to a specific HR service, you don't want to hide all cases of that COE. You can also do that with the help of COE security configuration. In this video, I will cover both the scenario that I have explained right now. First one will be to hide all cases irrespective of any HR service and second will be to hide cases based on particular HR service. So to ro the roles required to create CO security configuration is admin or HR ER administrator. Now the scenario is a uh, restrict all HR total rewards cases so that only members of the HR tier 2 group will be able to read records to it. And the second scenario is restrict HR total reward cases related to beneficiaries add or modify HR service so that only members of the HR tier 3 group will be able to read records to it. So before starting the demo, let's discuss some users and roles that we are referring here in this demo. The first one is test user, uh, has role case reader and case writer and has grouped HR tier 1. The second one is Rubin that has role case reader and case writer and has group HR tier 2. The third one is Ramon that has role case reader and case writer role and has group HR tier 3. Now let's navigate to our ServiceNow demo environment. So let's first impersonate with test user. So uh, before restricting access to HR total reward cases, I want to confirm that cases are available to all group members right now and later when we will apply COE security configurations to them then we will validate whether that cases are visible to them or not. So for that I have impersonated with test user which is the member of HR tier 1 group. Now let's navigate to total reward cases. Here you can see that all total reward cases are available to test user. Now let's impersonate with Robin. And just reload the list view. So here you can see that uh, all total reward cases are available to Robin as well. Now let's impersonate with Raman.
now uh, reload the list view so here you can see that all total reward cases are available to raven as well it means that total reward cases are visible to all hr people who have reader and writer role irrespective they belong to any groups but now after applying coe security configuration these cases will be visible to only members of that group irrespective of any roles so let's understand this through demo let's start with the first scenario which says restrict all hr total reward cases so that only members of the hr tier 2 group will be able to read records to it so uh, to create coe security configuration record we will have to navigate to coe security configuration module so it will come under hr administration so let's click on that let's click on new button and now select the coe so here uh, you can see that i am not able to select any coe and this is because i am not in the appropriate application scope so one thing to be noted here when you are creating coe security configuration you would better make sure that you are in the appropriate application scope so let's select first application scope and then try to select coe now i have selected human resource core application and now i will reload this form and try to select the coe so here you can see that now coes are available for the selection so let's select hr total reward case now we have a checkbox called applies to all services in our scenario i will keep it checked because i want to apply restrictions to all hr services belonging to total reward cases coe if we have to apply for some particular hr services then we can uncheck it and then select some hr services inside that field so i will explain uh, this in the second scenario so let's select it now you can set filter as per your need i am leaving it blank right now just for the demo purpose let's make it active now we have a type field that has two choices read and write as per your need you can select any choices in our scenario i will select read right now let's go to the scenario so this is for hr tag to group so let's fill the hr tag to group here and let's save it now we have created the first coe security configuration record which will grant access to only hr tier 2 group members it means that now cases will not be visible to test user and ramon test user because belongs to hr tier 1 and ramon belongs to hr tier 3 they do have reader and writer role but still they will not be able to see the cases because we have applied coe security configuration on this table and it will be visible to hr tier 2 group members only so let's validate whether it is working as expected so let's impersonate with test user first and navigate to total reward cases so here you can see that no cases are available to test user but before applying uh, the coe security configuration test user was able to see the uh, hr total reward cases now let's impersonate with uh, raymond and he also belongs to hr tier 3 group so cases will not be visible to him as well
so here you can see that no cases are available to Raymond as well now let's uh, impersonate with Ruben so Ruben is member of HR type 2 group so cases will be visible to him so here you can see that uh, cases are visible to Ruben. In this way, you can restrict access to all HR cases within a COE. Now let's move to our second scenario which says uh, restrict HR total reward cases related to beneficiaries add or modify HR service so that only members of the HR tier 3 group will be able to read records to it. So let's now move to the demo environment. Let me cross it before that I will inactivate the first uh, CUE security configuration record so I have inactivated uh, this one because it is restricting all cases but in the second scenario we have to restrict cases that belongs to only beneficiaries add or modify HR service if we uh, keep this one active we will not be able to validate the second scenario now let's create the second one click on new I will follow the uh, same steps that I have used in the first one the only difference uh, here is I will uncheck this applies to all services uh, checkbox so that we can put uh, the HR service in the service field because we are restricting cases of only that particular HR service else everything will be same so let's select the uh, total reward case in the COE I have unchecked it now in the services uh, let's select the beneficiaries add or modify I'm just keeping it blank make it active the type will be read and here in the group I think it will be for HR type 3 now let's save it now let's validate whether the cases related to beneficiaries add or modify HR services are visible to test user and Rubin or not because they belongs to HR tier 1 and HR tier 2 group the cases should only be visible to HR tier 3 that is for Raymond so let's impersonate with test user and validate I will navigate to total reward cases so here cases are visible but we want to check whether the cases related to beneficiaries add or modify is visible to a test user or not so here you can see that uh, the cases related to beneficiaries add or modify is not available for test user let's test for uh, Rubin. and let's reload it so here you can see that uh, for Rubin uh, cases are not available as well now let's impersonate with Raman and reload this uh, list so here you can see that cases are visible to Raymond because uh, he belongs to uh, HR tier 3 group. I hope you understand how COE security configuration works uh, and do you think like HR admin can have access to see total reward cases? Let's validate. and let's uh, refresh this list no they can't see 
if they are members of that group then they can have access to read x read the cases this is because coe security configuration works based on group membership not roles i hope you have enjoyed the video please provide your valuable inputs suggestions also please subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed yet for more upcoming videos thanks for watching good luck and happy learning